Warning, the following game you are about to watch is rated M for Mature, and as such, the commentary being used in this video will reflect this rating, so if you are sensitive to cursing and any other inappropriate stuff, you may want to avoid watching this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Shawman247, and I am back with my newest gaming playthrough of Half Life. Oh man, it has been way too long since I said that. And wow, <laughs> what a game to be coming back on, too. So, it's time for the summer. And, well, this is really just my first gaming playthrough of the summer. There's going to be a few that I'm planning. And wouldn't you know it, good old Half-Life here is the first of, of the, the bunch. Yeah, I've been thinking of playing this game for a while now. I haven't actually played the original Half-Life in I don't know when. <laughs> I don't remember quite a lot about it. And I know this game might take me a little while to do, but hey. It's called having fun, right? And that's exactly what I'm planning to do with this game. I can use my controller to move my mouse cursor! I'm making circles about around the lamp and the symbol, but that's going oh so well. <laughs> now right here you can also see that basically here's the main protagonist himself, Mr. Gordon Freeman. Look at him. He's just a handsome guy, isn't he? <laughs> Okay, but enough serious. I mean, enough joking around. Wow, I'm all over the place right now. Ugh. So, this game is made by Valve. You know, that company behind such great things such as Dota 2, Team Fortress 2, Left 4 Dead, and even, of course, a game I already played on this channel called Portal. Yes, that Portal. And they're also responsible for the thing everybody uses on PC called Steam. Yes, everybody, everybody uses that. You can obviously look that up because, <laughs> Lord knows, if you're into new computer gaming, you know about P Steam. And this game is powered by the Steam servers. So, what type of game is this, you say? Well, oh, hold on, am I? Yeah, the game is detecting. Thank you. Okay, so, what type of game is this? It's basically a first-person shooter. Yes, like Portal, but this is not like Portal at all. Portal is what I consider a first-person puzzler. This game, on the other hand, is an actual first-person shooter. But, the difference between this and Portal is, well, I mean, apart from I, me already saying that one's a puzzler and the other's a shooter, is that, basically, this game also does contain some puzzlish story elements. Like, puzzling and story elements, I mean. Wow, I cannot speak words today. Yeah, this game is very story-oriented. And really, I mean, it was pretty revolutionary at its time. Around 1997, when this came out. And boy, was the world in quite a different place. It it uh, originally was released for computers, but eventually it got itself ported over to consoles such as, I believe, the PS2 and the Xbox. The original Xbox, I'm saying. And this also was supposed to be released for the uh, Dreamcast as well, Sega's Dreamcast. How about that console? <laughs> it's a great console. Believe me, I still have mine. So, yeah. This game is old. You can obviously tell by the graphics when you're going to see them. And believe me, it's not going to take too, too long to see the graphics. Sorry about that. I actually had to change my cop keys around in order to start and stop the recording. Yes, I set up a button basically to start and stop the recording, but because I, the way I have my controller setting up using another program which mimics a keyboard, it accidentally kept stopping the recording. 
And that was a big problem. Which also is leading me to also saying that this is basically just a re-recording. <laughs> yes. I mean, even though I didn't actually accomplish much in the game so far, but still. Okay. Enough talking around. Let's actually do some stuff with the game. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay, so this game basically has a bunch of different difficulty options. And it also contains a training room. In this video, what I am going to be doing is I am going to be covering the training room. And then I'm going to actually then get into the actual game. Because the training room actually, well, I'm going to try and show off as much of the game as I possibly can. And this even includes the training room. Yes, just to show you how to play the game. Or just understand how the game basically works. And pretty much because the training room can probably showcase the game best. Yes, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Explanations are fine and all, but you guys want to see gameplay! GAMEPLAY! Don't you hear me? GAMEPLAY! <laughs> uh, okay. Training room, go! Start a local server. And we're in the hazard course! The mat hazard course. <laughs> Elevator! I can jump! I can duck! And pretend I'm falling! And noise! Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course. Hello! You will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping in. Let's begin by jumping over you! Because <laughs> I can hop and skip and jump like a bunny. <laughs> so, basically, this holographic lady whose mouth moves weirdly just basically told us, Hey, here's our suit. You can go get it. Welcome to the H E V Mark Four Protected Group System for use in hazardous environment conditions. Whew! I'm walking a tightrope here. There we go. <laughs> so we got our suit now, and on on the bottom left, basically it shows our health and our armor. Currently, we are at 100% health because, well, that's perfect health, and we haven't gotten hit, obviously. And then there's also another little armor function that, right next to it that I'll explain a little more once we get to that. Also, while we're here, we can even use flashlights, even though there isn't too much of a use for it right now. But, yeah, flashlights are going to be used all throughout the game. So... Can I move on? Do I need to stand? Oh, I just need to stand here. Holding around what do you gotta in say? The HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will. I'm fit jumping! Well. I'm jumping! I'm familiar with it! I'm not an ADS! Come on! <laughs> okay, obviously because I tested all this out, I kind of know what I'm doing. But, I'm kind of just messing around at this point, because this is what I like doing in games. And that totally does not look like a prison door. So, what else is here? The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes. Yep! So run they really get back to basics here. Hard. Watch me, and then try it yourself. Yeah, they really go back to basics here with this tutorial. <laughs> it doesn't get much more tutorial than this tutorial, because it tutorially tutorials you. Do you tutorial what I mean, you tutorials? <laughs> uh, there's a scientist over there. Let's see if we could reach him. No, I probably can't. S scientist. Because science! Scientifically scienced! Those suits can be tricky, you say? Well, I like to think not. 
You are now duck the next so it wants us to duck. I'll basically show what it is. So basically it was just telling us, hey, you have stealth mode. You can duck. Ducking is basically the same thing as stealth mode. Use it to be sneaky on enemies. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna blow through this quickly. Very good. I hardly noticed you. You hardly noticed me? Well, I'm sure you noticed because I'm jumping now! <laughs> now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then All right, jump again. I'll show you how it is in the Gordon Freeman Olympics. This is how you do it. You look prepared for the next Yeah, here we go. You will have to signal oh, here we go. To make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth. Quack, quack, quack. Continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in mid-air, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. Oof. Okay, so she just basically told us about, called the duck jump. Quack, quack. <laughs> Alright. So basically, you have, in order to get in here, you have to jump and duck at the same time, basically. And there you go. You rinse and repeat. You may be wondering if this, why am I wasting your time with this, but hey, I'm showing, I'm just showing this off because it's there. And just to even get out of this, you have to duck jump. And hooray for loading screen. Oh, that was quick. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. Alright, ladders. <laughs> Here we go. Woohoo! Oh, that actually damages me. Forgot about falling damage for a second there. Oh, jeez, that's not good. Wow, that, this suit detects everything! Wow! The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. Alright. I'll you. I'll you. If you keep and falling aww. short, you might be jumping too soon. So it's teaching us about jumping timing. Like that. Work. Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. Alright, here we go! Oh, Oh, I need to actually pick up a module? Did I pick that up? Oh, I totally did. Then what the heck am I doing? G Gordon, get up the ladder! Thank you. There we go. So, yeah. This is basically tutorials. You guys can feel free to skip on to the next video at this point if you want, but I'll still be here if you want to hear my commentary. Because I'm just showing this off because it's there. That's right. Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. Use key? More like my use button. Ha <laughs> ha! Because I'm using a controller. Only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit. If you take any damage from the floor, we will administer medical care at the next station. Really? You could have just jumped anywhere to pass that part of the course. But, yeah. Bonus points if you could hit the target. Good for you. Okay, so we have to go this way. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. Yep, that's basically about med kits, but if you find these, they can 
they could refill your health. Just like this. And, wow, it ran out. So, I can't be saying F yes anymore to that. I swear, every time one of these characters in these Valve games, you know, just actually get, like, health of some sort, it al always makes me think they're saying F yes or fuck yes or something. <laughs> this game is rated M, people, so my commentary might get a little more explicit. Sorry for those of you that are young. You shouldn't be watching games like this. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Oh, there we go. There's another red kit. Fatty, 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 fatty. I don't know. Maybe you say the F word. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, as soon as we let go. Hey, yup! Fantastic. There we go. Fantastic. All right. So what do we? What else do we have here? Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this Boom. on your own. Yep. You just had to push a box. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, I'm through you! Exactly. I'm through you! I'm the new hologram now! <laughs> oh, jeez. That's a bit odd. That's a bit of an odd angle. 1997 graphics, people! <laughs> Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> oh, alright. What else do we have here? Okay. So we have to use these boxes to get up. Hop, skip, and wow, lovely. Come on! Did I just crack an? Yeah, I totally just cracked an egg. Huh? Would you look at that? Let's push the boxes all together like that, and make a little staircase. Yeah. Oh yeah. simply smash your way through the debris. Yeah, in this game, allow me to say that you don't just use weapons, you know, that you might normally expect. You also get freaking awesome weapons like the crowbar. And you can use that to break boxes and just beat people up because you're just that much of a badass. Gordon Freeman is badass. And the sound is acting weird. Why is my game slowing down? Game! Game! Hold on. Hold on a sec. Okay. How about we see if we can mesh well with this again? It seems to be running a little bit better. Now it breaks through with the crowbar is such an awesome weapon. I mean seriously. I mean even though this is really just the game that made the crowbar awesome, it still is. And then you could just swing it around and break windows like that. Oh, okay. I'm breaking in! Ah! <laughs> Oh, so this is, yeah, the area where it teaches you about using the flash light. Just use it to light up your path. Yeah, the suit actually tells you how much power you have. Great. Remember your flashlight drain power. So switch it off when you don't need it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Did I mention that this game playthrough was gonna be rated M for Mature? Because this game is rated M? Yeah. Kids, you may not want to be watching Welcome this, the possibly. The target range, where you will oh, yeah! Reloading ...and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. 
for those of you that are sensitive to cursing, I'll try not to curse too, too much. <laughs> but, I can't help it. It's an M-rated game. I just want to damn curse. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss so, the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses, rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Ooh. It will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, Two, one. All right. So this is just basically teaching us about, you know, using weaponry. Each gun in the game basically has a normal firing mode and a secondary firing mode. Sometimes you need to use the secondary firing mode in order to hit certain targets. Like, okay, where is it? Ah, the next targets are there. Come on! And the button allows you to reload. Now see, sometimes you may come across, you know, targets like this, where there might be behind certain, you know, areas. So you use the secondary fire, such as on the SMG that we have here. And of course, miss and blow ourselves up! But yeah, that's how you do it. Alright! Oh yeah! Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. Huh. As you swim through All right. this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. Ah, I see. Okay, this basically teaches us about riding in the water! So yeah. The game warns you, basically, how much oxygen you have. You will see the blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads-up display returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. Alright, here we freaking go! Oh, this hell yes! <laughs> for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, step up to any charger. And press your use key. Okay, so basically this is teaching us about using the armor. Armor can basically be recharged as like a secondary health bar. Boom. Jeez, is this where they got the idea for that Inception bong sort of thing that they use in all the movie trailers now? You know, where it's like, damn. I can totally see it. I just want to keep doing this. Somebody, quick, make a movie trailer using this noise. Quick. All right, that's enough fooling around. If you <laughs> fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon right now. So, okay, yeah, fire and steam can damage you. Proximity to radiation, activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated when Okay. So, yeah. Please advance to the next area. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, I'm supposed to hit the elevator again. I'm just figuring out about the weapon switching. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. You just basically fire your weapon. You know. Lead the security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the sure, transit I'll system. I'll follow you. You must approach a guard and press your use key. We have an emergency here. We have an emergency. I know I'm not actually talking too too much about the game aspects, but this is just really the tutorial, so I don't know what else to say. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. You better follow me. I have a gun. I'm not afraid to use it too. Okay, I'll wait here. 
Alright, let's do it. I need one of you guys to access the security door. So, that's really... Yeah. Thank you, scientist. Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage from the train. So, yeah. This also basically allows me to tell you that you do also use vehicles in this game, such as this thing. Now go! And then you can just control using the movement how much fast you want to go and which direction you want to go. So let's put it into high gear. Yeah, yeah! Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protection. Ooh! Okay! Thank you, game! And that's basically the Black Mesa Hazard course, aka the training room, aka the tutorial. Yes, I know I kind of spent a bit of time on that because I was just dragging it out and fooling it around, but hey, this is what I do in games. If you're coming to look for a guy that basically will just maybe walk you through the game and be boring, then, well, you guys got another thing coming. I'm here to have fun. And you guys can feel free to have fun, too, and play this game alongside me. And I encourage you all to um, uh, give this game a try. It's a pretty fun game once you get past the whole issue of figuring out that controls... If, especially if you use a controller. If you use a keyboard, you, you should be A-okay with this game. But I'm not that keyboard savvy, so I use a controller in order to control this game, but I had to use another program to help set up the controls. So, yeah. This is pretty much, well, is it going to be the factual first part? I think it might be. Or will it be a bonus episode? I do not know. I'll think about it as I go along. But, until the very next time, if you like this video, please give it a like. Or, you know, feel free to subscribe so you can keep up with whenever I release more Half-Life videos. And, feel free to share it out with anybody who you might find will enjoy this content. And that's pretty much it for me. So, again, until the very next time, this has been Sean at 247 saying, STAY CLASSY! Like this guy over here, Mr. Freeman. He's a classy guy. He's got a cool suit. He's got the old goatee and the glasses. He makes scientists look freaking cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, alright. Bye!